Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of The Witcher. We're over here in the Swamp Forest today, just after completing the quest to liberate the Brickmakers. Um, our quest for today is we have to go to the Druze Grove and speak to the Herophant. Herophant. So, he is over this way, if we look at the little red triangle. I wonder if you can see that little bit of screen tearing there. Weird. Man, this game. This game, though. I wonder if that has to do with tox tox toxicity levels. I think it's just uh, my game acting funny. I don't know. This game doesn't like me. We're flying through it, though. We're getting, we're getting quite far in. Um, can I get through here? I believe I can. Yes, I can. Oh god. Oh god, that thing is huge. Run. We need to go this way. Might as well take the most direct route. Unless I run into things. Ah, dodged it all. Perfect. Alright. So, how are you guys doing today? Doing alright? Just try and meditate this off. See if this, because that will get rid of your toxicity, toxicity levels as well. Um, not really until noon. We'll just go until dusk. Because it won't actually take that long in game. So there, our toxicity levels are gone. And it's still there for me. Hopefully that doesn't show in the recording. Because that's kind of gross looking. Ugh. You know, I've never been able to figure out how to pick plants. I have all the books and stuff, but I've never been able to figure it out. So if somebody knows and you could let me know in the description, not in the description, in the comments, that'd be, be fantastic. Alright, so we got some... Got a corpse here with a fish, some alcohol, and an axe. I don't know why they died. They must have been doing. Sounds like they're doing quite well. Here's the druid's growth. So where's the? Uh, hero fan. This guy right here. So, before we go any further, I'm just gonna see if I can't get this little line figured out because he's starting to annoy me. All right, I think I got it. Welcome. Greetings. Do my eyes play tricks? Is it Geralt, the famed White Wolf? Indeed. How do you know me? I've heard about you from our friend Mouse Sack. I lost my memory and don't remember Mouse Sack. A pity. Perhaps I can help, if you stay for a few years. I must attend to urgent matters. Yes. Greetings, Honorable Hierophant. Vasca said you might be able to help with the bandits wearing salamander badges. Welcome, White Wolf. I know what brings you here. I have heard it in the wind and seen it through animal eyes. You know? You battle Salamandra, and have saved many from Salamandra's experiments. Mm -hmm. You cannot enter their secret base. It is too well guarded, even for you. Can you help? Possibly. Their leader wants us to use nature's magic for his purposes. I'll propose a meeting where our chances will be even. What can I do? Bring me a silo side mushroom. They grow in a cave guarded by cockatrices. I will create a potion to entice the salamanders to meet us. When we meet the salamander leader, I'll help your fight. And why do we need this mushroom? The salamanders want a more potent version of their drug. For this, I need the psilocybe. They pester me endlessly. If I send them a sample, they will suspect nothing. Farewell. So instead of fistack, he wants mushrooms. 
Okay, so let's go over to this cave. Man, these guys in this world, they're all about those, those drugs. It's crazy. Spent so much time just running back and forth through this thing. That animation looks really funny. Um, so I'm just gonna sprint across here, so just give me a second and I'll be back once we arrive at the cave. Alright, so we're back over at the cave here. Um, actually, I think this is a new one. Uh, but we got into a bit of a fight and gained a level, so I slept at the fireplace, we re like replenished our health. I made a few potions, um, and I put some of our talent points. We got this one in group silver, we've got Tempest 1, Tempest 2, so that increases our damage a bunch, and then a critical hit one. And so now we get to head into this cave. So the first thing... I imagine it's going to be fairly dark in here, so I'm going to drink a cat potion. Get this vision in the total dark. Looks like there's rocks over there, and this seems to be the only way we can go. So let's head this way. And there is a cockatrice right there. We can just sneak in and... No, we can't just sneak in. So I'm going to try and just pin him through here. have some of these potions, which I, I don't think I've used before. Since they're just like instant health potions, basically. And grab the cockatrice feather off of that guy. Mm, yes, not off of his brother. Oh yeah, we can now. Come on. There we go. That was weird. Alright, so our toxicity levels are starting to grow, but um, hopefully it won't be too bad. I'm looking here, two-handed steel axe, circle of hanging stones, I don't know what that does. our shield. So is there anything we can do with these circle of hanging stones? Or is he just going to slowly, awkwardly run around them? Okay. Couldn't really do anything there. Um, so. Whoa. 
these mushrooms, eh? Like, they can't be those ones on the ground, because I can't pick them up. just didn't do anything. here actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save my game while I have the chance just so we don't lose all this progress because um, there's a bunch more guys out there this third one here Looks like I'm just gonna gonna have to wait this out. So I'll be back in a minute when my health is a little higher. All right. So after messing around a little bit, bare like almost dying repeatedly, um, I managed to clear out the next room, and there was some psilocybe in this mushroom right here. Um, I figured out why I was doing no damage. It's because I was using the steel sword, which is 
ineffective against most monsters. It's, I should have been using the silver. And the silver, like the steel sword was doing 3 to 4 damage. Um, the silver was doing like 7 and 8. So we're going to have to listen to the thud thud for a little while until we get outside. Um, and then we can sleep out there. I also figured out why we weren't able to pick any um, any flowers or anything like that. And it's, uh, if we look at in the hero mode here, look at intelligence, we haven't got the point for it. So the next bronze talent we get is going right to that. So we can pick herbs and then we can maybe regen some health naturally or something. So let's head out of this cave. Hopefully nothing's out here to attack us. Just jump on this fire just quick. Are you kidding me? Like, look, those guys are so weak now. Like, it's, it's awesome. such a funny looking fight. Okay, so let's meditate just for, I'll go back to dawn so we can just be in daytime because nighttime is not a nice time, especially when you're in a swamp. So you get head back over, full health, zero toxicity, let's just sprint through these guys so you don't have to mess with them. I feel like I'm running really slowly. But oh well. This thing's making funny sounds behind me. And we're headed back over. Can we eat off that fire, please? Oh no, piece of pig. No, apparently not. Apparently the pig's been sitting there for too long and it's no good anymore. So that kind of sucks. I wonder what happened to the people. They just kind of... You know what? I'm not really feeling pig. Let's go out for dinner. Never return. Lots of fireplaces, though. It's pretty nice. Everybody's making, making nice fireplaces. Elder Druid, Druid, Yaven, Wyvern, Druid, Wyvern, Hierophant. I'm... Yes? Oh, plants just grew in front of you. I have the mushroom you Careful. wanted. Excellent. I'll add it to the potion, then send the birds to deliver it. Is the meeting set? Yes, we'll leave when you're ready. You said we'd leave when I was ready. So, may we depart? I'm ready. We are to meet in a clearing. My friend will come too. It's the least I can do to help. I've never fought alongside a wyvern. Let's go. Alright, so we have to escort this guy. Um, we don't really have any potions or anything, which is kind of unfortunate, but... We have to escort this guy, or can we just run ahead? Because I don't really want to escort him. I'm just going to run ahead and see if whether he just teleports in or if we have to restart. So you know what, let's... Let's save right now just so if we have to restart we don't have to walk all the way back and do all that fun stuff. And technically in this situation I think what we should be doing is he should show up first and then I should come in and go brah what's going on? Okay so we do have to we have to wait for him to show up. So give me one second. I'll wait for him slow poke over here to walk all his way over. 
Alright, so he's almost here. There's the clearing there. There he is. Oh. Okay, sweet. Be ready. They will soon arrive. I was born ready. I was born ready. Ooh, look at this. Switch over to one and uh Alright, did they bring one of these things? So who's fighting who over there? You can have a quick nap. Haha. <laughs> Just gonna sit over here for three hours, it's cool. Who needs health potions when you can just run away and sleep? Oh man, they're still fighting. It's pretty intense. Time to pray. All right. Time to save the game. Yeah, search this guy's corpse. A legal sword. Damage minus twenty percent. Let's take all these. That's not what I wanted to do. We want to read this. Encrypted document. But we know. Don't we know the salamander key? Yeah, so we might not be able to use it just yet, but we do know the key, so we just have to head back to whatever that guy's name is, uh, Louis Verdon, something like that, and then we should be good. All right, so that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode with our Hyrule Phantom and our Wyvern. Uh, make sure you check out the social media links in the description Twitter, Facebook, send me a message if you want to see anything there 
give me suggestions for fun new content and all that jazz. But until next time, guys, I hope you just enjoyed this episode, and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.